Okay, um, now we're back. Um, this is Public Library by, and this is the name of the company that we've decided developer. to, the developer, to, to cover. It's ID. K W I D games. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I don't think we need to pronounce it because it's hilarious. Yeah, they're hilarious. So the reason why I thought this was funny to begin with is I used to work at the library, and this game is about a bear learning the Dewey Decimal System. Okay, so what you do is you it's it's W A S D, which makes no sense because you only go right and left. <laughs> okay, and it, well maybe later you don't, but you hold down the spacebar to learn the Dewey Decimal System, right? Yes. Then you go pick up a book. Here, using A, you go up to the space bar. On the book return. Philosophy of Lemons. So then you walk back over with D. Like sour you press the space bar and you look, where's philosophy? Oh, it's in 100. So you move over to 100 and press the space bar. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, you're in zero. You're... Oh, I'm in zero. Okay, you got to move to 100. Go get another book. Okay, quick, quick. You go back and get another book. And you go, oh, yes or no, a binary quandary of Sir Thinks a Lot. <laughs> I'm not really sure where that would go. Wait, wait. You, uh, that's okay, a, a binary it's quandary. It's mathematics or science and math. 500. Uh, 500. Fi you think it's or 500? Or 600. I'm thinking it might be philosophy. But anyway, we'll go to 500. So you kind of have to figure out what the You're right. Maybe mean. it is. Maybe it is. Go to 500. Yay! Oh, yeah. Ooh, right. I was right. You go back. Um, anyway, um, this I don't know what you score this, but the animation is hilarious. The idea that you're you're a bear at the library. Putting books away in the Dewey Decimal System. that intro that we showed before. With the, the, with the, the Okay, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know if we can score this, except that I say that as, as for style points. It's like this a ninety five. Yeah, okay. it's like a, it's like the an eighty. The game itself is, you know, it's, it's not a great game, but it, but it's, it's hilarious cool. and fun to play. So I think we're going to take a look at a few more of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, um, by the way, if the guys who made this saw see this, they can email us and tell us how to pronounce their name. Yeah, that would be that would be <laughs> awesome. Okay, the next game from these guys is called Beam Me Up Santa. Beam. Let's play the intro so you can see what's going on in Beam Me Up Santa. Santa. Rudolph reports we're in position over the sector. All teleportation stations report green. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, watch. To start the game, this is what you do. This is the, okay. the most elaborate. Says Penny game. wants a pile of money. So you you, you got to find Penny. You press gotta shift. Press shift to find Penny. Where's Penny? Penny is right over there. Right there. And so what does she want? A pile of money. Yes. Yeah, so you go down on top of Penny and you press the space press bar. Space bar. Now you need to target a pile of money by A now, and D. No, we go. Yeah, we go to A through A D to find a pile. There's the pile of money. And I guess we press the space bar again. And then you got. Now you then, have to press. Then we have a letter at the top of the screen. Game. You got to press the right letters. And if you do it at the right. We did it! Okay. And then Penny gets her money. This has to be the most elaborate game for delivering presents I've ever seen. It's one of the, so, I so, think it's one of the greatest games ever made. <laughs> no. Okay, it is funny, though. Absolutely is, fantastic. From, from a game perspective, it's really hard to play, but I think it's... The creativity really, here is just it's, amazing. It's, I think it's really elaborate on purpose. I mean, it's really elaborate to begin with. So, so I'll say, um, I think again, so too. I'm, I this give is it about I, an 80, 80%. I, 80%. 80%. Good Christmas game. Fantastic game. All right, so this is a, this is another game by these guys called Flying Blind. We're going to play the intro first. So we haven't actually looked at this one yet. Greetings, pilot, and welcome to the SF817E <laughs> Space Superiority Fighter, aka the Blindfold, manufactured by Astral Plane Inc. The 817E has several key features, both inside and outside the cockpit, that provide unmatched performance. However, the most obvious feature is the Castonium alloy armor that coats the entire ship. This super dense material nearly matches the density of a neutron star's core and provides protection against all current and future weapon systems. <laughs> this ship is invincible, not a scratch on it. Although, <laughs> this protection comes at a price. In order to provide complete 360 degree protection, our engineers neglected to place any windows or view screens on the ship. <laughs> our bad. Still, with invulnerability, just point this craft in the direction of the enemy and roll right through them unabated. What's that you say? Why does this crap need a pilot? Couldn't a robot do this job? Well, you're right. <laughs> but don't tell your superiors. We don't make robots. We <laughs> fly. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, but I, launch. I bet you control it with WASD, so hold I'm on. I'm sure. <laughs> you see, we're flying now. You realize, right? <laughs> we have no idea where go, we're going. Go forward. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so is there, a, is there a game anyway, element to anyway, it yet? Okay, this sucks as a game. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait time level stuff. <laughs> wait, wait. I know. I know. All right. Okay, so it sucks as a game. Oh, okay, so play back and see what you did? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> It is not so so well. Oh, this is all right. This is what you did. Huh? <laughs> okay, so, so wait, wait, it doesn't suck as a game. I take it back. This is fucking brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> this is the best game ever made. Okay, oh, here's a boss. I don't know what to say, but we we didn't have enough time to wait, do one more. Wait, you didn't get to fight the I boss. <laughs> oh, we blew him up though somehow. Let's um. I have no idea if you actually did anything. <laughs> there. No, but it was hilarious. So let's just say this. <clears throat> another eighty eighty percent. Another eighty percent. Okay, let's do another one. One. All right, here is the last um, of the IDK WID games we're going to do for the day. It's called Dino Art Museum, but we suggest you go play them all. We'll have links to them on the site. Um, let's play the intro, and then we'll be Hello, out of here. I'm Dr. Fingers, curator of the City Art Museum, and welcome to our... Here at the City Art Museum, we have instituted a new <laughs> policy. New pieces will be displayed on the backs of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Some colloquially call us the Dino Art Museum, but that misleading makes it sound like the dinosaurs are the artists. We only have one or two of those. Where did we get the dinosaurs and how did we train them? Never you mind. But they're real attention grabbers, aren't they? Plus, they act as excellent security. Please don't pet the dinosaurs or the art, or you may lose a favorite appendage or two. So sign the standard liability waiver presented to you and prepare to appreciate the majestic beauty of the art and dinosaurs. Ham and other snacks are available on the reception table. <laughs> so now we're so gonna, are we going to draw? Yeah, I got to draw okay. something. Steve. So let's draw first. Okay. There you go. Oh, look! Look how bit it is. Very sweet. nice and sweet eight bit. I want to put some green in the middle you here. You made like a red olive. Okay, go. Put it on your dinosaur. Okay, clear. So wait, wait. I want to. I want to get the rest of my olive done here. We have a lot of time here. Okay, so. and then we're going to be. Come on, red, red, and then we're going to say go. <laughs> you have to move. You got to move. Oh, wait, how, how do I do it? I don't know. Arrow keys. Oh, is it with the? Is it, are you, what are you using? I'm using D. Wait. Do you jump over things? Oh, I guess I have to jump. You're you're breaking the arts. Oh shoot. Steve. Okay. Okay. I see. So we we design our dino. How do I go back? D. D. Jump. Jump. I love the art that's in the museum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the game is a terrible game, right? To be honest, really hard to play. It's awesome at the same but, time, but, but but the fact that I still want to play it. Yeah, exactly. So I say I can't wait to see the art on the walls. I give them another eighty percent. Another eighty percent. Great job. That's it for today. Okay, I K D with games. games. You're you are something very special, and everyone should play your game. Everyone should play and sponsor them. <laughs> Exactly. And give you lots of money. Anyway, uh, thanks. That, that was great. We'll, we'll be going back for more later. <laughs>